Hi, it's Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson here with Richard Irving from the Xbox Engineering Team. Back with us, Richard. Thanks for joining us again. Always great to be here. Thank you. We got some great stuff coming for Xbox One. New update around the corner. What can fans expect uh, in June? Well, this is a really, really big update. We've added support for external storage, being able to share your real name with people on your friends list, uh, a bunch of important improvements to Smart Glass, and as we've already announced, this is the system update that enables you to access popular apps like Netflix and Hulu and Machinima without requiring you to have an Xbox Live Gold membership. Great stuff. Now let's go right back to the top. I want to talk about external storage. A lot of, a lot of fans have been waiting for that. Tell us how it's going to work. Well, the basic compatibility requirement is you need a USB 3.0 compatible drive with 256 uh, gigabytes or more available on it. Awesome. And then and then tell me a little bit more about how that works. Well, so you uh, plug it into the console. We'll recognize that you've attached a compatible device. Ask if you want to format it. Uh, we'll format the, format the device. And from that point forward, it now becomes the default storage device for all the content that you download. So the next game that you download uh, will go to the, the USB attached drive mm -hmm. uh, instead of the internal hard drive. But when you run out of space, we'll automatically spill over into the Xbox One hard drive. Okay. You can go into your collection and take all the stuff that you've already downloaded to your Xbox One hard drive, move it over to your uh, external drive, and then you have everything in one nice, neat little package if you want to bring it over to your friend's house and play on their Xbox One. Now, one of the neat features I saw is you can actually use multiple drives. Is that right? That's right. You can use a maximum of uh, two drives simultaneously, so bringing the total to three storage devices, including the internal hard drive. That is awesome news. Tell us about real names. That sounds very interesting. Uh, well, real names is something that's that's important to us and many people have asked for. You know, gamer tags are a fantastic thing to have when you're in in a multiplayer game but when you're out browsing your friends list when you have you know a thousand people that on your friends list that you are following uh, it can at times be a little confusing who's who mm -hmm. uh, so the first time you launch the friends app uh, after the june update we'll ask if you want to enable real name sharing if you say you don't then everyone will always know you uh, by your gamer tag only so in my case major nelson that's right okay if you say that you do we will then ask you for which of your friends do you want to enable real names for? And you can be, uh, you can simply select all of your friends if you want, or you can select them uh, individually one by one if that's your choice, if you want to have a little more control over who's seeing your real name. So people can see my real name, Larry Herb, either everybody, a few people, or nobody. And it's, again, my choice. That's right. And you can be very, very specific about who on your friends list can see your real name. So there's another really cool feature of real names where you can enable a further discovery through friends of friends by enabling your real name to be shared through friends of friends. And how does this work with followers? Well, so your followers will always know you by gamer tag unless you also add them as a friend. Ah, oh, that makes sense. All right, so let's talk about uh, Smart Glass. Some great new features coming. Give us some of the highlights. Well, there's actually a bunch of great new features in Smart Glass. There's a set of features that uh, deepen your connection with your social network on Xbox Live. All right. When you uh, start the Smart Glass app, you'll notice that the activity feed is now on the home screen. Mm -hmm. You can see what your friends are up to quickly at a glance on your phone when you're away from the console. So it's just like the activity feed in the console, more or less. That's right. It will take you straight to achievement comparison if you see an achievement's been unlocked. But the other cool thing is broadcast notifications for your friends that are broadcasting on Twitch. You'll now get the notification on your smart glass device. And if you act on that notification, you'll be taken straight to the Twitch experience wherever you are to see what your friend is up to in that game. And then, of course, you can obviously watch it. That's right. That's awesome. Awesome. What else do we have? So there's another set of features that broaden its use as a companion to your console. So something as, as simple but as requested as pin reordering. So you can discreetly reorder the pins on your console using Smart Glass. So all the favorite things I have on my on my console over on the left-hand side, you can now go into Smart Glass and be able to just dynamically rearrange them exactly the way you want, by That's color, alphabetically, any way I want. That's exactly right. <laughs> okay. So Richard, there's additional enhancements coming to Smart Glass uh, regarding the guide, right? That's right. So as we've already announced, uh, the one guide is, uh, is coming to Smart Glass. Mm -hmm. uh, so you'll be able to see TV listings on your Smart Glass device. But uh, we're also uh, launching a universal remote control feature as part of Smart Glass so that you can control your TV experience and all the other AV components that you have in your system using your Smart Glass device. So I'll be able to control my, uh, my TV volume or my AV volume, turn it up and turn it down, mute it and do whatever I want to change channels. and just. That's absolutely right. It's a really cool feature. Richard, do you have any other features you'd like to mention? 
Uh, yeah, actually, in response to uh, customer feedback, we are introducing the much requested auto sign in feature with this release. Now, what does that mean? Uh, what that means is you'll be able to configure one of the accounts on your console to automatically sign in every time you power up or come out of connected standby. Awesome. Richard Irving from the Xbox Engineering team, thanks for the updates and thanks for your time today. Thanks for having me.